Okay, so we've learned how to make a square, and we've learned how to make a cube and a circle. So now let's learn how to make a cylinder in perfect perspective. Okay, so I've got my horizon line, and I've just sort of arbitrarily said, like, this is the leading edge of my square back here. And so, you know, I'll go and I should use a little bit of a ruler. Okay, and just find that, you know, that's going to go here, and we've got this here, you know, taking this leading edge back, and we're going to go with this here. All right, nothing new so far. Hopefully you've been watching. Okay, and we see like, okay, this is where the end of the square would be. Okay, cool. So there's my first little square, right? Okay, so now basically what I need to do is I need to just draw a cube. So if I was just to go up, let's say, you know, about, about this far right here. Okay, and about the same over here. Hopefully, let's see, let's measure, why not? Okay, I've got that there. And I'll bring that up a little bit more, right about there. Okay, cool. And so here's the leading edge of our cube. Okay, and of course that's going to also go back to the vanishing point. I know, it looks really complicated already, huh? But it's not. This is all old stuff. Okay. And so, then, I'm just going to take and make the square on top. Okay, so that's how far that will be. And look, look at this. If you do things right in perspective, then everything is always going to just kind of, well, line up. So here's the art bottom square, right? So you would think, well, I can just draw straight up. And you could. And look at that. It ran into exactly where the top square would be. So let's get rid of the lines that we don't need, because it's already confusing me, right? So I don't need all this. And remember, maybe if I was doing this for realsies, I wouldn't have drawn all that in the first place. I don't need all this. But, uh, so there's my cube, right? So now I just need to find the, the little circle on the top and bottom. Not too hard. So I won't be super precise about it, but just, you know, know if I had to go down here, right? So there's a little square. I could find the center now of that square. Now, that's not the perspective center. That was way the heck up here, probably, if I was to draw it out. But it's the measured center. Okay, I can go over here. I could even find the halfway point on here. Nip those. It only takes a second, right? Just dividing all those kind of in half. And so here, and here, and here, and here. And so, you know, I've kind of got my bottom oval. Well, that wasn't too hard. All I have to do is stay more or less within those lines, and I've got a nice, perfect oval. You let me get rid of all those lines that I don't need. So you can see, here's my cube, and it's just got a nice little circle at the bottom. Now I just need to draw the circle in this top one right here. Okay, so once again, well look, the back's going to just line up. I recycled those lines. You can find the center of this. All right, so I've got that, and so I'll just come on over here, and see, just like so. So there's that. And so then, let me get rid of all the lines that I don't need, so it's not near so confusing. Okay. And so then I'm just going to find halfway, halfway. See, this was here, so half of half. Right. Right. 
And then I could just nip off those corners again, just like so. Boop. And right there, and right there. And once again, my oval has practically made itself. And if you've done everything well, then everything, see right here, should just line up. Okay, so we see all that. Let's get rid of the last little things that we don't need. You know, I don't need these corners back here, obviously. I don't need all this gobbledygook over here. And you can see why you draw really super light, right? Or don't even draw the lines that you won't absolutely need. A lot easier to draw the lines that you, you don't need. I should say, a lot easier to uh, erase lines that you don't need. If they're not there, okay. Okay, so all that gobbledygook is out of the way. So there it is. There's my nice little cylinder. If it wasn't transparent, I guess you wouldn't see any of that. And now there it is. You know, I'm not too crazy. If I was to put a rim on something like this, I could just just fake it, making it, you know, fatter in the front, obviously, and skinnier as it came around the sides. Right? So a little bit skinnier. Let it get a little bit fatter. And a little skinnier again. Just faking it. Nobody's gonna know. Okay, so finally we're going to be putting a circle within a circle. So you can see I did that when I made this central piece right in here. So I've got some guidelines already drawn for myself, but I'll make them a little bit darker and a little bit sloppier even. So here's my horizon. Okay, nothing new there. And then I've got my square that I'm making my initial circle from. Okay, and I'm going to Go ahead and I'm going to draw back. And you know, I draw all the way back to my horizon, just like so. And so, how far does that go back? Well, you know, I can go ahead and make that all the way back to here. Okay. And that gives me my edge right there. So, there's my first square. Okay. And so, if I went to this one here, you know, to give me my perspective center. Now, before, when we were just making the one circle, this line didn't, didn't count. This point was, was nothing. It was totally nothing because we didn't want to use the perspective center because, you know, it doesn't make good circles. We wanted to use the measured center. And we will for, for both circles, but in a slightly different way. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just make my first circle just by, you know, taking and making a square out of this, just coming down, finding the center of that right there. And just nipping those off and finding about halfway on those guys right there. And so in that way, I'll be able to make that pretty good ellipse, oval ellipse. I'm afraid I might use them interchangeably. So there's the first one right there. All good. And you know how to do that. So now, for the circle in the circle, it's basically the same thing. So here's my center. And I'm going to assume that I want the circle centered in my circle. And so arbitrarily, I'm just going to say, like, well, this is how big the square is that makes that circle. Okay. There was no reason for this other than that's just how big I decided it was going to be. And just like before, I'd go ahead and draw that back to my vanishing point. So I've got my perspective. So it's got the same central axis. So I'm just going to find my square. So there's my square, right? And so, just like before, then what I'm going to do is within this one, I'm going to square that off. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to find my center on that. And do all the same things over again. The big takeaway from this was just that you had to use the perspective center. When you did that, you made the circle in exactly the same way. And so there it is. You know, and especially once I get rid of the things I don't need, you'll see that I've got a good circle. Good enough. within a circle and it's all just right so cool so now that we've done all sort of like the background information on that i'll go through in the next tutorial and just kind of show you how i went about turning all those concepts into a picture